so guys today i'm going to be responding to your question benefit of being a permanent staff or an agency worker as uk healthcare assistant today i'm going to share with you guys their salary their pay slip for those of you that are nosy that want to know how much they earn i'm going to share all of that in today's video like i said if you have any questions don't forget to leave it on the comment section and i'll make a video on that um and i'm also going to tell you guys you've been living your good life hello everyone welcome back again to my youtube channel if today is your first time here my name is Tella. if you've not subscribed to my channel please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and if you're a returning subscriber thank you for coming back thank you for supporting your girl thank you for supporting your girl guys i really appreciate thank you for love for the support i appreciate guys so in today's video i'm going to be responding to all your questions not all your questions some of your questions to be honest like sometimes i go through my comment section and pick some few questions and make videos on that so some persons have been asking me please um is permanent staff better than agency worker all of that just keep dropping your comments i'm going to be responding all of that gradually it's just not easy to make videos edit sometimes you make video but to edit is the problem to be honest like for me it's easy to sit down talk and then sit down start editing that's where this problem so anyway that's by the way so today's video i'm going to I'm going to share with you guys pay slip of a permanent staff and also a pay slip of agency staff. So, as a UK healthcare assistant, normally, usually, normally, usually, anyway, let's go. So, um, and the government used to have like a minimum wage, but to be honest, as a UK healthcare assistant, if you're a permanent staff, there are lots of benefits though. So I'm going to share with you guys like the benefits of being a permanent staff. So for me, being a benefit of being a permanent staff, if you're a permanent staff, uh, if you're sick, you get sick leave pay. But if you're an agency worker, I don't think they give that. Because when I used to work for agency, there's nothing like a pay, uh, sick leave pay. Like if you don't work, you don't get paid for. No work, no pay. Work, pay. If you don't work, there's nothing for you. But as a UK healthcare assistant, if you're a permanent staff, if, you, if you're sick, I get leak, uh, sick leave. And if you have like COVID and you don't get to work, it's still the same thing as sick leave. Like when I had COVID, I literally didn't work for like 10 days. Yeah, I was isolating for 10 days. And throughout that 10 days, I got my complete pay. And if I should still call them and tell them I'm still sick of COVID, please don't do it. Though. I'm just telling you. <laughs> Don't do it if you do it too much, they will not pay you. <laughs> but I'm trying to say if you're sick, you get paid for it. As agency worker, no work, no pay. That's just their policy. You have to work to get paid. Do you understand? And as UK healthcare assistant, if you're a permanent staff, to be honest, for me, I feel like it's easier for you to get uh it's not I feel like I know. It's easier to get mortgage because I could remember uh for some reason, even when I want to get my mortgage, but because it didn't balance where well, as my husband is like not a full time worker, like agency worker, all of that, we couldn't get the house. So like they usually want you to have like a permanent job, so at least they know how much you earn yearly. So if you're permanent staff, it helps a lot to be honest. But if you're like agency, they feel like you know, as agency worker, sometimes you get shifts, sometimes you don't get shifts, it's off and on. Agency shifts is not like a guarantee. That you must get the job today so sometimes how this agency work is sometimes like let's say for example at workplace tonight i just called and said <laughs> i'm making this video at <laughs> what's the time now seven o'clock yeah that's what i said tonight so let's say i just call and say hello um i can't come to work tomorrow because of child care maybe like because of my daughter or i'm not feeling fine so what they do is that they ring agency please can we get a cover up that's so I want to cover up the shift so usually if there's no like much uh shift it's difficult to cover up that means you won't get shift as agency worker so that's why sometimes you don't tend to get shift sometimes but it just depends yeah so that's it as agency worker you're not guaranteed to get shift every single day but not like they don't get it usually always get but it's not a guarantee but at least with me being a permanent staff i know that this is my work and these are the days i go to work like say like me now, I say I work Mondays. I work those three times in a week and I told my uh, manager these are the days I want to work. And I, yeah, I know I have short work that day. I don't know if you understand. I know I go to this particular place, I come back home. But as agency staff, it's not like that. But for me, I know this is a particular place I work. I go, do my job, I go back home. But with agency, no. You don't have a particular place of work. You go round. You can go to London if you can go. You can go to Manchester, you can go anywhere around uk in as far as you're strong and you're willing to take the train the bus or your drive you know stuff like that so that's it that's the benefit of being a permanent staff so there are little, little benefits to be honest as being a permanent staff but the only issue of being a permanent staff their pay rate is not as high as agency so like let's say agency i think um 
for agency i think their benefit is like you get to meet more people because you tend to move around you can go to like like i said you can go to manchester today you can go to london today you can go to some place and you're still going you're changing lives you're meeting different people you can also make friends you learn a lot as you travel but as a permanent staff you just work in a particular place let's say you just have five clients there that's where you keep working with just these people you're used to them everything is just them they're like your family but as agency staff it's not like that you travel around uh, i don't want to say around the world around the whatever i would say around the area so here's the thing with agency staff but the good thing about being agency staff sometimes when there's emergency shift and let's say uh, your agency say i'm going to pay you 10 pound and you'd be like no i'm not going be like please 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 okay i'm gonna pay you 15 pound you see but me as a permanent staff there's nothing like i'm going to pay you 50 pay you 15 pound for what if your fixed rate is 10 pound as permanent staff they're gonna pay you 10 pound whatever your fixed rate is that's what they're going to pay you as a permanent staff you're going for maternity leave i think you get your full pay for at least uh is it four months full pay and then after four months you start getting half of your pay for example if you earn 1500 every month so you get 1500 for four months and after that four months you start getting half of the money that's you start getting 700 until i think 10 months but you're entitled to one year maternity leave that's the good part at least you can stay home for one full year until your child is a year old yeah and you get paid for around 10 months yeah that's it but at least you get a short pay of 10 months i don't know if you understand but with agency workers no you have to like maybe apply via government and all of that with the government you get maternity allowance that's what you get with the government as far as you work and you're going to submit all your pay slip to the government so you get that maternity allowance so that's it with the rates uh, working for agency and with working for agency you choose where you want to go for ex let's say for example your agency say okay we've got a job for you in manchester in the so home i'll be like no i don't like that home you've got the right to say no you're not going or you know you're not a chance or no you're busy or no you know it's a right like you you've got to choose you can choose where you want to go to with agency um if you're agency staff you can choose where to go to be like no i'm not available stuff like that i think with agency staff they have benefits too but not like in terms of like if you're sick you get paid it's just like in terms of choice that's what i'm trying to say that's where agency staff get more advantage because as agency staff like i said you can say no you're not going to this place here this is where i want to work you know stuff like that you get to choose where you want to go to where you what you want to do do you understand i might go to a particular home and i don't like if i'm agency staff tomorrow if you send me there i won't go but with me if i'm a permanent staff and I'm, I'm working with a particular client even if i don't like it deep inside my heart i don't like it but i have no choice but to keep working because you're permanent staff if you don't do it you will do it and people have been asking me like if you're a permanent staff are you allowed to travel oh, yes of course you're allowed to travel you're entitled to five weeks annual leave that means like if you want to travel to your home country you can book for two weeks or three weeks annual leave in that annual leave you can go so yes you can travel if you're a permanent staff you're not tied down you're not in prison if you have any family issue you can also book a leave leave without pay it's still different but you're entitled to in a year five weeks annual leave five weeks annual leave that means with paid you get paid for it for traveling or i don't know if you just don't want to work you're entitled to five weeks anyway so let's say maybe after three months you just need a week break you can take off a week break and just stay for one week and with family stuff like i said you have you kind of have choice especially when you have kids you can meet your manager and say please uh you want to work during day or please you want to work during the night and see because you have a child and all of that you have to be honest you have lots of benefits as a permanent staff but it's just that the pay is quite different like i told you guys the agency they've got a high pay so now i'm going to show you guys agency pay slip and agency pay slip what it's like so guys this is what this person pay sleep look like this person work lives in Huddersfield. you all know i live in Huddersfield, so i was so tempted to go with him one time like that to be honest because the pay was mad on christmas day he was paid 90 pound per hour i could not believe it until i saw the pay sleep pay sleep is a proof because most time they pay them weekly so when you get your weekly wage you see what the person is so this person now he just work once and once sometimes he work once or twice a week he says okay it's a bit far like i said it's like around two uh, two hours two hours via train so so he went there for let me just approximately for 12 hours 12 hour times period which is 45 pound what 5 pound per times 12 for 5 pound times 12 is around 500 and something pounds so you go for just one shift to get 500 and something pound guys is not amazing but the problem is that if you look at his take home it was too small because he worked for so many agency and that's something i was telling you guys about just be careful how many agency you work for. so his take home was around 314 that's because he was taxed a lot and like i told you guys he worked for different agency he forgot 
to close down like to end his contract with other agencies so that's why he had lots of tax so guys it's amazing it's still okay for me to be honest One so day guys did you see that agency page you can see it's so huge it's just it's just like being a nurse in fact some nurses don't even get up to 45 pounds per hour to be honest so that's an agency basically but what i'm trying to say is that sometimes you get less but that's because this person you can i showed you guys the location you can see the location was in Huddersfield, but where the person worked was really far and the person was willing to travel that far do you understand so like for me if you're a guy you're willing to travel so let's say people that live in Lagos, if they're here in the UK, so for them traveling for two hours to go to work, it's nothing to them because at least even if you're in the train, you're comfortable, you're relaxed. Do you understand what I'm saying? You're relaxed, you eat what you want to eat, you press your phone, there's a, eat, you press your phone, there's a charge up, um, there's a place where you can charge your phone in the, there's a place where you can charge your a phone inside the train so it goes to work and come back. You, you all, it only requires you to wake up very early. So some persons get high pay, especially when it's bank holiday, you get double pay. So imagine that person with 45 pay, if it's like ring Christmas, they got 90 pound per hour. Honestly, it was crazy. When the first I saw that pay, I was shouting. I was like, oh God, I wish I can do it. But like I said, if you have a child, it's really difficult, you know, so we just stick to our work. So that's it. Like they get very good, like good opportunity. But I'm not saying that it's all agencies that pay that amount of money. Like I said, some agency pay less. Honestly, some agency pay really less, but it's your choice. You can book other agencies. You can, you can leave your, this one and say like, you're tired of working with this one. And agency work, I call them a show. Like they've fly from one place to another tomorrow this person will tell you i'm working with this one and next time be like ah, i don't like that agency i'm working with this one now you know stuff like that they just move from one agency to another they just move from one agency to another because it's their choice they can only they are flexible they can move anywhere they want to move to you and they're not tied down to you <laughs> Yeah, they're not tied down to you, but as a permanent staff, obviously, before you leave, you can you have to give one month. Is it one month or two months uh, notice that you want to quit or resign or whatever? But as agency worker, you can just call them today. We have a shift for you. I'm not available. Tomorrow they call you. We have a shift for you. I'm not available. Even the people giving the shift, they will get tired of calling you. <laughs> so obviously, they know that you're not really interested, or you can just call them and tell them you're not available for now, for two months or for three months. So with, as a permanent worker, you can't say you're not available for three months or two months no it's not possible so that's it that's pay sleep that's what that person gets per hour i mean and it's also sad because if you have lots of agencies you're working for the the tax is going to be mad honestly speaking so what that person did not realize on time was that it was affecting him because he was working for so many agencies and what he was supposed to do is collect his p45 and when you get your p for no p45 or p60 I can't remember. Is it your P45 or P60? That, that means to close down your account with that agency that you're no longer working with them. Because in UK, if they, if you, if your names are in different agency, they believe like you're working for different agency that you're making lots of money, and your tax get the doctor like crazy. So the best thing for you to pick two best agency that you know you like, you like, and you know you're your shop getting jobs with these two agency, and that you know that yes they're okay. Then that's the agency that is best for you to register with, and the other one just close your account with them. Meaning you tell them you're no longer working with them, then they'll close off your account and then yes that's just because if you keep working for so many agencies the pay and the tax you get higher pay but the tax is going to be like it's going to be just too much and at the end of the day you get nothing to be honest not like you get nothing but like it's not worth the stress and after all the work moving up and down and the tax is just too much it's not worth the stress to be honest so back to the next one as a permanent worker this is what the payslip look like so this is a payslip for a care home i forgot to ask the person how many hours but a full-time staff work around 38 to 40 hours so i'm sure this person is a full-time staff and you can see the category of class and band this person this is the only job the person is doing and that's why this person tax is not much you can look from the tax deducted and i tax this was not much so yeah the person's take home is around 1500 so like i said like if this person should work more the person can pick extra ship and get more pay so that's the pay slip for a permanent worker like i said sometimes it can vary some places stand some to be honest for me i feel like the people who get less pay a care home people who work in a care home and i feel sad for them because for me it's hard work working in a care home because like there are lots of you know clients there are lots of people there and they get sometimes they get paid less and that's why they always they are always short of staff they are always recruiting because 
like i mean if you walk and you get tired and the pay is not what you want you end up resigning or you end up quitting you know say like you tell them you're not working anymore so that's the problem with care homes they don't really pay that high but i don't understand this country how it works and the pay agency is so high because you have to pay agency for someone to cover up the shift immediately saying this is like emergency so they pay higher yeah and the permanent staff they don't really get too much but this is just like um an average staff what the end some person like i said get higher pay some person get 12 13 like that it just depends but to be honest agency staff get more and they have freedom of choice meaning freedom of where to work and where not to work because you can send me in your home i'll be like no i'm not working there like i'll be like no i'm not available i don't have to be rude and say i'm not working there but you just say you're not available you know stuff like that so yeah that's the place for a permanent staff but the benefit is just there like i said if you're like a married person like you have a family i think if your permanent staff is a bit better because at least you know this is a particular place you're going to work if you just go to your work you pick your child like i feel like it makes your day organized a bit but if you're not a permanent staff your day is like no i wouldn't say it's get disorganized but it's just that like you travel and if you don't drive that's a problem if you miss one bus or miss a train to catch up the next train before i got pregnant i said i started working as permanent um worker because i knew that once i have a child like everything has to be arranged i know that i'm not gonna work all the time i'm half days i would like to work and days i will have to like you know be with my daughter so i said if you have a child i feel like uh, agency is a bit difficult because sometimes maybe the days you're free and maybe the, that day you won't even get any shave so it's a choice guys i think with this video i've like at least i've explained to you guys what it's like to be a permanent worker and what it's like to be an agency staff so so um before i end my points so now you're pregnant as agency staff to be honest like if you walk in a home and they notice you're pregnant they'll ring the uh, agents they'll ring the agents and be like please we don't want stella just let me use my name as example to be in, to come again because we're scared you know the risk assessment she's pregnant they don't mean to be rude but they would like there's a way they will arrange the talk you know like they'll make it like nice and be like yo there's so many things in this home and we don't want anything to happen to baby you know stuff like that so if you're pregnant there's there are chances that you not get lots of shifts especially when your agency know but sometimes you still get i'm not discouraging anyone but sometimes you still get but people like most people get scared because you're pregnant and nobody wants any issue to happen to your baby nobody wants anything to happen to your baby and then it's going to be on them going to be their fault and they'll pay the insurance and everything so if you're pregnant it's a bit difficult so that's it with agency so with all these points i mentioned and with all the things i've been saying what do you think which one will you go for will you go for agency or will you go for permanent um, job or permanent staff or agency worker just leave it in the comment below and tell me your reasons so we've come to the end of today's video if you find this video informative please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like subscribe and share i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys